Many of you are the first generation in your family to receive a college degree. You are the culmination of your family's strife to make a better life than they could in Vietnam. No pressure, right? No big deal. But before I go into that, I want to take a moment to appreciate our family's efforts. Imagine, if you will, the tragedy that your family underwent, fleeing a land torn by 25 years of war. Okay, imagine the fear and the stress and the trauma that they had to go through before they reached America. They should have felt relief when they got here, but instead, they realized they couldn't speak the language, that they'd have to, to work for $4 an hour. Okay? Professors in Vietnam working as janitors in America, a dentist in Vietnam working as manicures in America. But now imagine the pride they must feel to see you in your caps and your gowns and the 10 seconds that will take for you to walk across the stage. <laughs> Since 1975, they've endured 42 years of struggles to see these 10 seconds, okay? So take your time walking up here. You gotta get it on Snapchat. <laughs> Vicky asked me to come to here today to speak about my accomplishments, okay, and that I've garnered over the years since I've graduated. She wanted me to share my experiences and my secrets to a successful life after college, how I find happiness in a time when arguably there can be a lot of things to feel uneasy about. So I will. Five years ago, I graduated. Five years ago, I started my life after college. Okay. The first six months after college, I started every day with a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch and I joined Walter White in his latest misadventure. <laughs> I, I watched five seasons of meth-fueled fried chicken eating rage. Okay. But that's not the only thing I did. No. I also binged on Dexter, and I binged on Game of Thrones, and I binged on Grey's Anatomy. Okay. I, I hit all the major titles. But, but jokes aside, after four years of college and a degree in psychology, I found out that I did not want to pursue a career in counseling. You know, so I was lost. Okay. A lot of my friends weren't. Um, some became accountants uh, at Boeing. Another one became an engineer. Okay. I became unemployed. <laughs> um, to be completely honest, I was insecure about the future, about my future. Okay. But the important thing is, is that I owned it, knowing that I would take the steps necessary to make sure that I didn't stay that way. If you haven't yet, I need you to find your passion and use it towards conquering any insecurities you have because there is a cure for every insecurity. Got yeah, that? Yeah, that's good, that's good. <laughs> okay. Passion is when you take something conceivably boring and talk about it like this. Okay? So I did more than just binge on Netflix and eat whole grain cereal for six months. I exercised, I took my dog to the beach, I listened to self-help audiobooks, I did everything I needed to to understand myself. Okay? And the most important thing, action that I took was that I gave back. Okay? Volunteer with high school youth, volunteer at food kitchens, volunteer at health fairs. Okay? This not only helps you discover what makes you happy, but what you want to do with your career. I found out that I'm passionate about, get this, Organizing and planning. Okay. I love streamlining processes and I make everything as efficient as possible. So I took my passion and I combined it with my career. Or I combined it with my degree. I made sure that my passion defines me, not my degree. Five years later, I'm using my psychology degree to work with teams of people. And I'm a project supervisor, organizing projects and streamlining processes. <laughs> so Class of 2017, you are the new soldiers of this nation, freshly minted from the training grounds of Cal State Long Beach. You are the warriors in our economy. Your enemy is financial hardship and the fear of living in your parents' basement. <laughs> Knowledge is your sword. Perseverance is your shield. Tenacity and creativity are your secret weapons. Okay. From your endeavors in the workforce, you unlock more skills, upgrading your ultimate abilities at level 6, 11, and 16. League of Legends, you got that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah good. But Tommy, you ask, what do I do with these skills I learned in the workforce? You take your skills and you integrate it back into your passions. You use the skills to feed the fire that makes you feel alive and working a nine to five job is not enough to gratify your soul. Are you a web designer? Create a kick ass site for Make a Wish Foundation. Are you a wedding planner? Plan a fundraising dinner and sell $500 seats. Are you a marketer? 
Market a fundraising dinner that sells five hundred dollars each. <laughs> Are you a designer turned Vietnamese mythical creatures to cute little rainbow tsum tsums? Okay, your passion in your career is like a fire, and like a fire, it can never be satiated. You must always stay hungry, feeding your soul, mastering the symbiosis between career and passion. That is how I define success after college. Warriors, created from the loins of your mother and your father, you are their success. You are their purpose. Now it is time for you to find your purpose, and in turn, find your success. So congratulations, class of 2017.